Hello, my name is Colin, and I just wanted to walk through a um, custom source plugin that I created for Elasticsearch. Now, this plugin, this source plugin for Event Driven Ansible, allows me to make a query against the Elasticsearch API. And as that query returns any matches, it's going to print them out as events that, that Event Driven Ansible and Ansible Rulebook can operate on. So let's take a look at the left hand side of my screen first in VS Code. So this is my actual source plugin here. And and highlighted are all of the arguments that this script takes. So we have Elastic Host and Port. Those are pretty self-explanatory, but it would be the URL for my Elastic server um, and the, the port number that it's running on. Elastic username and password, again, these are just going to be the, uh, the basic credentials that I'm using to authenticate the request against the Elastic Search API. Elastic index pattern is something that's kind of configured within Elastic. We're matching just on the, the file B uh, wild card here. So within this environment, I'm actually standing up all of these components within a Docker Compose file, um, and then FileBeat file beat is shipping the Docker logs out to, um, out to Elastic. Now the query that I'm making here, the default query is just to, to look for specific, um, specific log lines that match container name, keyword, nginx, um, and then it's going to make this query at an interval of this interval here. So if I um, take a look at the Elastic Rulebook, you can see that all of those arguments also match up. You can also see up here I have the source configured as coin.eda.elastic. So coin, that's myself, that's me on GitHub. It's a weird name, I know. That's the namespace. EDA is the collection name. And then Elastic is the source plugin within the EDA collection within this namespace. So that's how we are able to locate this source plugin. Um, and then there are all the arguments passed in here, again, with that same query of let's just look for log lines with a field that matches container name, keyword, nginx. There is also an nginx container within this Docker Compose environment, and it's just hosting a simple website um, so that as I refresh it, I should see, you know, access logs and things reported within Elastic if I stream these. Um, and then we have just one rule that is matching a condition in here. So event.ec CS is defined. This is just saying um, that Elasticsearch, the query does return something. Um, if Elastic ECS is defined, I know that there was a log line that was found by that query. Now, uh, the second condition, event nginx.log level is equal to error. I want to pull out just the error log lines from my nginx log and trigger some action on this event. In this case, I'm just running the debug action. So we'll just see the, um, see the event that triggered this particular condition or this rule. And uh, we'll continue on listening for additional log lines. That's really just the setup here. Again, this is all running within a Docker Compose file. Um, so you can see my definition for my Ansible rulebook container here. It's mounting up a rulebook and inventory that I have contained within this repository. Um, and before it's able to run this container, it has to build it from another Docker file. So this is just installing some Python dependencies for AIO, HTTP, Elasticsearch, etc. And then I'm also running Ansible Galaxy to pull in the collections that I need, namely uh, coin.eda, which is where my custom um, Elasticsearch source plugin lives. All right, so with that, I think we're ready. Let's take a look at the elastic side. So on my right hand side of the screen, you see Kibana uh, configured against this um, elastic host. First thing I do need to do is set up um, an index pattern. So I already have FileBeat shipping some uh, shipping some logs over here. So we'll just make an index pattern of FileBeat. Uh, dash wildcard and then select the timestamp field create that index pattern so that should look pretty good let's try to stream some logs really quickly so let's go to the log stream and uh, let's uh, let's actually use the condition that I'm searching for which is um, I think container dot name uh, equals to engine X let's let's do a live uh, stream of this particular log um, let's see, it's actually 1649 is the current time for me right now. So this is an old line. Let's see if we can get um, some new events coming in on this log stream. We'll do that just by refreshing the website over here, coming back to the log stream and see if uh, 1649 pops up. 
Okay, there it is. So we see some uh, some additional log lines with the timestamp of the current time, which is 1649. And furthermore, one of those log lines re represents an error. So this is the actual log line that uh, Ansible rulebook and event-driven Ansible should be able to act on as an event. So let's put that in practice. Let's go back to VS Code, open up a terminal, um, now here I'm going to make sure that the Ansible rulebook container is actually started. So I'll do docker compose. Uh, let's just do restart Ansible rulebook because I don't know the present state. Okay, so it's restarted. Let's look at the logs. So docker compose uh, logs. We'll tail it. Um, there it is. Okay. So it looks like it was able to load the uh, the source plugin. Um, see loading EDA. Oh, well, where is it? Okay. Well, it's starting the source. You can see my my rule definition here, um, and now you can see these messages here. So these info post messages are posting at a five second interval, and that is because I'm making this query at the five second interval, looking for brand new log lines. So let's make something happen again. On the right hand side of my screen, I'm going to refresh that demo website, and uh, that should trigger um, Ansible rulebook to react. And there it has. So you can see on the left hand side, there's the, the, the payload coming from that event. On the right hand side of my screen, you can see a brand new error that I've just triggered at the, my local time of 1650. Um, so if I scroll up within the event message here, you'll see that this is that Nginx log level error. Um, and that is the only message that triggered um, this debug here. Um, out of three messages, only one of them matched my condition, which was looking for Nginx error logs. So that's it. Um, if you'd like to uh, to give this a try, I also have a repository where this whole Docker Compose environment is set up and you can give it a try yourself. The uh, collection itself that I've created with the custom source plugin for Elasticsearch is out on Galaxy and I'll link that as well. Thank you.